What's up guys, Joe here from Jojo Coco Studio. So it's been two years that I've been using this computer and um, I have to be honest with you, I have never done any maintenance at all. I've been monitoring like, you know, the water levels in the reservoir for like a long, long time. It's never going down. So it's a good sign that nothing is leaking. But the thing is, I have never flushed the distilled water out of the system and putting it back in. So I'm just quite curious like what's gonna happen when I do the maintenance, hopefully no corrosion, of course, because we're using distilled water, right? Since like the fans that I'm using is the Bits Power fan, it's not, you know, it's it's not the best fans in the world. So that's why it's like, you know, all the LED lights are not working properly. Therefore, we're gonna change some fans on this computer by using um, the Deepcool TF120S. One thing I noticed about the fans in here, it's getting a lot louder. So I'm just gonna uh, replace those fans with these ones and also take you guys along you know dismantling this uh, custom water cooling loop and see how you know so much of a hassle uh, it, it just changing fans you know quite crazy right yeah let's get started guys so safety first take all your glass off obviously and you it's good to put on one of these like oh tables that actually move around right because obviously custom water cooling builds are a little bit heavier as there's liquid there's a lot of you know tubes fittings and everything so very versatile if you put it on one of these like i don't know moving tables right just to show you the quick current state of this build obviously it is super super dusty and um of course, I'm gonna be cleaning every single thing. So I guess this is um, another one of those cleaning videos. Look at that. Ugh, nasty. Look at that. Oh, yeah. Wow, that's um, that's that's quite dusty. So, I mean, I've been cleaning this a bit, so it's not that dusty. But other places that obviously I didn't um, reach or didn't even bother cleaning is the fans here. Yeah, that's that's nasty as well. All right, so let's uh, start draining the water out. Now, the reason why we have to drain all the the liquid out or the distilled water out is because, as you can see here, the fans are actually behind these reservoirs. Okay, so I need to take this reservoir out. All right, so that's the pump. The pump is actually sitting on the fan over here. So. You need to take that out. So basically I have to dismantle every single thing, which is uh, quite a pain, but in a way, if we look on the bright side, it's good maintenance, right? Clean everything, make things a lot shinier, a lot less dustier, obviously, and just, you know, have a better look of, uh, of the build. Let's start off, let's um, screw this. We have a valve on the extreme right of the build. God, this is very, very tight. Then we have a simple tube that I am not 100% sure we can fit this in, but we have to make it happen. Oh dear, I don't think we can do it. All right, I found, very, very lucky, a 90 degree rotary. And so we can finally do this. And so now we can easily screw in the soft tomb fitting and then we can finally drain out the water make sure we open one of the top ones all right there you go all right good 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 now we still have water trapped in the graphics card so as you can see here the water level is right there so it's kind of aligned with the graphics card so we have to be careful with that and obviously the low as well um, on the radiator we're expecting water is still inside here and i believe that most of the water inside this radiator has um, been drained out and also from the cpu as well well cpu maybe there's a little bit of water inside as well but i think it shouldn't be a problem i'm just going to start flipping a tiny bit I'm rotating the computer um, every now and then so hopefully we can get the water coming out from the left side and um, see how it goes uh, of course it's kind of heavy but just got just got to do it right see that it's 
kind of coming out. If you go to the gym, this should be very, very light for you, right? So we kind of have to keep on doing this for a bit. And to be honest, you can actually flip your computer upside down because you should be very, very confident. Oh shit. All right, so quick solution. I've taped the tube to the water bottle so it doesn't like fall off like just then. Um, this should be a lot more cleaner. Let's do the easy stuff first. I believe this is the easy stuff. So obviously the radiator, I believe doesn't have any water left because there's no water here and then there's no water here. There's a tiny bit of water over here. So I'm gonna put um, some paper towel over here just to protect the, the graphics card. And once we pull it out, it should kind of leak a tiny bit, but it shouldn't be that much of a concern. Let's do this one first better as this is easier. Yes. All right, let's take this fitting out as well. Now we got some water coming out. I'll put some more of that tissue there. Yep, all good. It's okay. Now the most important thing is we put a, a stop plug on it. So we don't get any more leakage or any more water outside of the, of the build. All right, so next we're gonna take this one out and you can see here there's a little bit of water in here, uh, which is not a very big problem, right? Because it's a tiny, tiny bit. So what we'll do is that we'll take this one out first and then once, we're, once it's out, we can actually twist the tube to go this way and then we can drain the water coming out from the graphics card. There we go. I know it's a bowl, guys, but it's totally fine. Release some water out. There you go. Oh, check it out, guys. I noticed that there's a little bit of a, a blue corrosion going on on the rotary fitting, right? So we'll definitely clean that up and see how it goes. All right, so one of the most important part of a build is the graphics card. So um, just FYI, I noticed um, I'm using a, a graphics card holder because um, these graphics card with a water block, it gets really, really heavy. And over time, it gets like kind of saggy towards this way. So I think it's really important to get one of these if you're gonna um, water cool your graphics card. Okay, so we have one last uh, big thing to take out, which is the reservoir and the pump. And once we're finished with this, we can finally reach all of the fans that we can replace. And oh yeah, and before that, we have to clean everything, right? Super dusty, so yeah, let's get on with that. So that took like a whole Saturday of mine. I think I started around 9 a.m. and I think finished uh, probably at four o'clock. And to be honest, I was planning to film the entire process or like the entire um, loop that was uh, assembled together. But in the end, I kind of got lazy. So, and plus it's probably boring to watch all that, right? It's nothing fascinating, right? It's just a custom water cooling build. In the end, um, it looks just like this. Uh, I pulled out most of the RGB lights, actually nearly all of the RGB lights, except for my Rams, because I believe it looks the best out of all in the rig. The uh, reservoir RGB and also the graphics card, I you know took those out because I just feel like RGB is getting a little bit um, too much for me lately 
and I just want to go for something more of a subtle which is great because the fans that we just put in the TF120S by Deep Cool fits perfectly in the build because it's low profile black colored and also it's very quiet as well of course we have to use this for a very very long time to find out you know how long it can stay quiet for a very long time right but of course maybe in like the next two years i'll do another maintenance video so i'll see you guys in the next two years from now so you guys overall um thanks for watching the video uh, I'll keep you guys updated um, if anything happens. Uh, hopefully there's no leaks. I really wanted to finish this video ASAP so I can uh, play some games on my computer, League of Legends. Uh, don't forget to subscribe if you're new here. But if you're old timer, say hi in the comments down below. I'll promise to uh, say hi back if I can. So I'll see you guys in the next video and hopefully I do another tech um, review or maybe uh, something about related to tech. So yeah, say subscribe and then <coughs> I'll keep you guys posted in the next video. Later.